orange juice aerobics. Now, there's a little bit of rain, it just started raining a little bit. So I'm gonna get it in. But actually, I guess this week what I wanted to talk about was I keep talking about stuff, right? Like I keep talking about how I need to work on my sprint speed. Like my one step speed is quicker, but I need to work on my burst still. Like really I need to work out of the blocks a little bit. And actually I talked to a sprinter recently and he said the best drill to do or the one that he liked is he stands like this and then he falls and then he bursts. And he says something about the falling and you fall as long as you can and then you burst and you take off and he said there's something that affects the fast twitch fibers in your knees and that that can help you get quicker too. So I might try that too. But you know what I'm gonna do today? Since I'm talking about getting faster all the time, you know, you talk about it, you talk about it, you talk about it until you change your routine. So what I'm gonna do today camera fell but what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna run line sprints and that feels kind of stupid for a 35 year old especially it feels like like an amateur like it feels like a high school basketball thing to do middle school even <laughs> but if you want to work on your burst what better way than running line sprints so I'm gonna do suicides which is which is another topic I want to talk about why is it called a suicide <laughs> Regardless, long story short, line sprints I think are probably probably one of the best ways to do burst training. So after I get done with jumps today, I'm gonna do free throw line, uh, a classic suicide drill, like hit the free throw line, come back, hit the half court line, hit the other free throw line, and do full court, and then do it back. I'm probably only gonna do two or three of those, but I'm gonna start running suicides every week. I, I'm not, I don't even want to call it that. I'm going to start running line sprints every week, and I wish coaches would stop calling it that. But I'm going to start running line sprints every week and try to improve my burst. I'm also going to do the drill that the sprinter told me, where you fall, and then work on your, and then you work on your fast twitch fibers in your knees. And he was really fast, and he told me to do that. And that's actually my, that, that was actually what I wanted to talk about today. The best way to improve as an athlete too is literally to find people who are good at what, or who do what you want to do, or are good at what you want to be good at, be that speed, be it speed or strength, or whatever the case may be. You want to find people who are athletes and just ask them, just pick their brain. I saw this kid who was really fast at the park the other day. I just asked him, I'm like, what sprint drills do you do? How do you work on your speed? And honestly, that's how my whole game has evolved. Like, I take my shooting from one person, I take my dribbling from another person, I take my point guard skills from another person, and you wanna put that all together. Like, don't just envy these people's game. Like, ask them what they do. Pick people's brain, because that's really how you get better. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna do the, dunk, the jumps, Dots, and then I'm gonna do line sprints. I'm gonna start doing line sprints every week until I get really fast. And then I, I started eating a little healthier. I stopped, uh, I quit smoking for a little while. Marijuana. <laughs> and that's gonna help me improve too, so I might play my best basketball here in a couple weeks. Yeah, I'm a marijuana smoker too. And that affects my running and it affects my basketball too. Where it does hurt your game a little bit. You know, it depends what type of person you are and how far you want to take it. But right now, I mean, I'm going to bed every night at 8, reading the Bible, eating healthy. I mean, I should continue to improve. As long as you keep working and live a healthy life, you're gonna continue to get faster, or you're gonna continue to get stronger if you just stay consistent with the workouts. Now it's kind of a product of your positive decisions and your negative decisions, be it smoking or eating unhealthy. Speed is really a product of your positive and negative health and endurance. 
and strength. There's noticeable improvement. I mean, you can see I'm better now. I'm getting quicker. I mean, it's a year. It's a year of doing the dot drill. But look, look, it's subtle. It's definitely subtle improvement. And really, it takes more than a year. You know, that first year is foundational. That first year is foundational. So now I've built up a foundation with the dots and with the jumps. Now I need to enhance my speed. I need to take it one more step. I need to do burst training. So now I've built a foundation. Now I need to get quicker. But it's all about just building off, building off that. You know, put in the work and then build off that work. And my legs still aren't that big. I still have like scrawny legs. But you know, we're getting there. I did do squats this week. My knee's a little sore, I gotta get a little rough. I got the flu on Tuesday. I was running in the rain. I got a mild case of pneumonia from running in the rain, too. And usually, I would just ignore it and keep running. But this week, I only ran the two miles, and then I had to kind of recover Wednesday and Thursday. And then I, I lifted weights yesterday. But I didn't use, I didn't do my normal amount of miles this week because I got sick though. And it was a mild case of pneumonia. So sometimes you gotta slow down too. Or sometimes your body kind of forces you to rest too. Like my knee today isn't 100%. Like, that's crazy. It's almost like frog jumps. I'm gonna call those frog jumps. They're almost like frog jumps. That's almost what it is. I'm gonna call that frog jumping. And that's one of the best workouts. That's one of the best workouts for basketball. Really, I should do more. 
Maybe I'll start doing more, more of those too. But not today. Let's try to get through this and then do the sprints today. Because today I'm already adding the sprints and that's gonna be already kind of a lot. But this workout, plus the, plus the line sprints, that should get me quicker. Like, if I do this for another year, next year maybe I'll be really fast. Or at least semi-fast, I hope. But speed doesn't come overnight, neither does strength. I mean, it's a lot of work. It's really the definition of hard work. Conditioning in general is really the most pure form of work. And you can get a lot of confidence from that too. Or if you keep your body conditioned, it's hard for people to call you lazy or to put you down over your work ethic when you work out every day. You know, because that's the most pure form of work. Unlike money where you can work your whole life and not get anywhere. Do the side to sides too. That one's that one's actually good for shifting my weight, like. I just noticed this. And the longer you go, you'll notice little things that'll make you better. But I just noticed this. When I do the side to sides, it's really about how quick I can go back. That, that pause at the side, that's when you're shifting your weight. So, you don't want to pause too long between going back and forth. And that's really what I need to focus on with that one. Whew. But otherwise, all right. All right. I got that one in quick. That was only 10 minutes. Whew. So I did that one pretty quick today. But okay. Here it comes. The real deal. <laughs> this is going to look funny too. I'm probably going to look really slow. But you know what? You gotta suck to get better. Like, this is gonna look funny. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I haven't run line sprints in forever. You know, I run I run the 400 all the time, but it's very rare for me to run 20s and 20 yard dashes, you know? But okay, I'm about to run line sprints, and we'll see what it looks like on camera. I'm gonna actually put the camera on the other side. We'll see what it looks like on camera, because sometimes you'll see yourself on camera too, and it'll be really slow. Or you'll be like, man, that wasn't this, it feels like faster when you're doing it in real life. <coughs> but, you know, speed is speed, it's a weird thing. You know, it helps to record it too. It helps me to record it and see myself.
I didn't even know if that was a full rep. Let's just start with those. Because usually, you would work back too. I went free throw, half court, free throw, full court. And usually, you would work back too. Go free throw, half court, free throw, full court. Free throw, half court. Free throw back. So I only did half a suicide there. But yeah, it takes the wind out of you. I haven't done that in a long time. Let's just do two. Let's just do two today. And you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, it hurt. It hurt a lot. But, let's start there. <laughs> 